This is Kathy Beal of Empowerment Unlimited.net with Astro Insight for the month of June 2018. Weird as the weather has been this year, June leaves no doubt about the season. We're ramping into an indulgent kickback and throw off cares mode that feels like summer, even in the Southern Hemisphere. Let us count the ways. Good vibrations. The month launches with sweet, lovey-dovey moments. Please, sir, may I have more? Hugs and kisses, escaping to the water or the front of a streaming screen. Daydream believing, wishing on stars, making art, music, and magic galore. As if the long Memorial Day weekend is in effect through the following Sunday. And then, poof, we shake the clouds out of our heads and remember briefly who we are what we're about, and what else we want that hasn't come yet. Briefly. And then back to lazy, hazy days. Wandering and wondering in confusion. What is real? Did I really hear that? Am I making this up? Have I been fooling myself? What's on Netflix? Are those wine coolers? Pass me one. Basking in it. Mid-month, our interactions shift to fun in the sun as Venus enters Leo and walking center of the universe mode on June 12th. She loves that sign's fire and fun and radiates its qualities to us here on Earth. Warm-hearted, showy, dramatic, encouraging gregariousness, generosity, strutting our stuff, and lazing in the sun. Everybody's doing the retro motion. You know how a retrograde can slow things down and make us turn around or go inward? Imagine what might happen with several doing this at once. Or just wait and live it out. Three outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto, are retrograde as June begins. We go increasingly low and slow as two more planets join the lineup. Neptune starts his annual reverse voyage on June 18, and Mars in Aquarius begins his reverse march June 26th to continue till August 27th. Because Mars rules our drive, actions, and tempers, his retrograde will draw the most attention, inviting opportunities aplenty for do-overs and expressing irritation and anger at recent events. Watch for puzzle pieces rearranging or appearing, motivations changing, machinery breaking, and men surfacing from the past. The combined effect of five retrogrades is a journey in time-space, pushing us back in time and deeper into ourselves, facilitating our processing and assimilating the chaos of the year. Read more in the retrograde guide I wrote for Astrology Hub, which you may download by registering at that site. Meanwhile, back on Earth... June won't be all lounging and lazing and contemplating, of course. Other highlights. Shape-shifting alert. Adjustments in the relation between our personal and greater power come when Mercury and the Sun square Pluto on June 8th and 11th. Our thinking is up for refocusing and reprioritizing, perhaps due to unusually candid or harsh remarks. We may also adjust our concept of where we place power. The serenity prayer comes to mind. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. This attitude adjustment guides whom we choose to receive our nurturing nesting impulses and how we go about expressing them when Mercury moves into Cancer on June 12th. In the sign of mothering, he inclines us to warm, fuzzy conversation, sharing tales of woe with eyes welling in empathy, and conveying actual palpable emotion and affection. We're in little danger of suffocating, though, with Mercury sextiling liberating Uranus at the Gemini New Moon on June 13. It's a gab fest in high gear, hosted by the Cosmic Messenger, and he and the Cosmic Quick Change artist are shaking up any wallowing self-pity or empathic overload. Communication flies. We're pushing for what we want, and yet circumstances aren't quite right to close the deal. Hang tight. 
Communication flows and grows and blossoms into telepathy and channeled guidance, June 19th and 20th, with Mercury forming a grand trine with expansive Jupiter and magical Neptune. That trine permeates the solstice chart when the sun enters Cancer on June 21st and colors the entire season. This is a formula for manifesting. Think, and it is given. So, be mindful. Desires are likely to mushroom, especially around the 25th, when Venus squares Jupiter and they egg on each other's most indulgent tendencies. They do have limits for a change. When Mars goes retrograde on the 26th, the shift will come with the push off a wall, much like swimmers push off the edge of the pool while doing laps. Watch for indications of parameters, constraints, or obstacles, which continue as factors while Mars scurries backwards. They loom large and inescapable with Saturn attending the Capricorn full moon on June 27. We may be in summer slowdown mode, but that won't stop report cards about how we're handling commitments and responsibilities. They may be what your heart wants, too, as this moon has us evaluating the staying power and desirability of what we're building. No summer romances this time around. We're looking for stable, durable relationships capable of sustaining us in the long run. Surprising turns toward that goal occur at month's end, when Venus squares Uranus. She's pushing for what she wants. He lobs lightning bolts and bam! Breakthroughs, breakouts, breakups, just plain breaks in situations, log jams, our thinking, you name it. I'm Kathy Beale, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years' experience. Visit my site, empowermentunlimited.net, to sign up for my mailing list, listen to my weekly podcasts, and book a session with me. You'll find me on Facebook at Empowerment Unlimited and the Astro Insight Lounge, and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian Channel.